On the night of February 10, 1970, something strange happened in the Vietnamese district of Kuchi. The peasants of the region began to hear strange sounds in the dark. Listening hard, they realized it was traditional Vietnamese funeral music, but there was something else. Various voices slipped through the disconcerting noise. They were women, children, and men who, with a spectral tone, claimed to be dead, and lamented their sad end. The crying of the ghosts became louder, and the environment was filled with their howls. Shouting, they warned the living not to follow in their footsteps, and not to dare confront the American soldiers who had invaded the country, as they risked ending up like them. The Vietnamese farmers did not know that this was all a hoax designed by the American Psychological Operations Unit. The aim of this maneuver was to strike terror into the hearts of the local people, playing on their religion and deepest beliefs to lower their morale and help win the war in unconventional ways. Today, in this new episode of Military History, we will tell you all about the fourth group of psychological operations in Vietnam. Are you ready? Let's get started. The history of the fourth group of psychological operations begins in August 1964, when General William Westmoreland gave a conference before the American High Command where he highlighted the importance of waging war through new methods. In his speech, he said the following, psychological combat and civic action are the essence of our counterinsurgency campaign in Vietnam. This conflict cannot be won by military means alone. Around this time, the idea that it was necessary to create a unit dedicated to psychological operations was gaining strength among the North American leaders. This meant that the war had to be fought with techniques that affected the mind of the enemies. They sought to manipulate their beliefs and values, influencing their emotions and destroying their morals. The fourth group of psychological operations was officially created in 1967. It consisted of a total of four battalions, one of which was assigned to carry out various missions in Vietnam. Its importance is evidenced by its dependence on the 1st Special Operations Command, the same that includes the famous Green Berets, an elite force of the United States Army. The fourth group insignia has three background colors, white, gray and black. This is a reference to the three types of tasks assigned to them. White symbolizes the operatives officially recognized by the government. The gray represents those in which North America does not admit its authorship to favor the result of the operation. Lastly, black refers to deception maneuvers and false flag missions. In Vietnam, the 4th Psychological Operations Group used everything in its power to terrorize the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese Army. A common tactic was to spread false rumors that wild animals were roaming the area, killing humans. The soldiers would then go to a zoo and record the roars of a tiger, which they would later play on loudspeakers in the jungle. This caused many unsuspecting gorillas to fall into the trap and, convinced that their lives were in danger, they would abandon their hiding places and flee through the jungle. By revealing their positions, the Americans mercilessly machine-gunned them. Another maneuver of the fourth group was to design pamphlets and posters which they dropped from their helicopters over villages and cities. One of them read the caption Two Ways to Value Combatants, and there was an image of a North Vietnamese gorilla dead in the middle of the jungle and a South Vietnamese soldier alive and in good health. Beneath the photographs, a text explained the different fate that fell to each of them. About the Viet Cong member, the pamphlet said the following, wounds sustained in combat will ravage your body until you die in some corner of the jungle. Your corpse will be left in a strange place, unburied. No one will remember you. Regarding the South Vietnamese military, the paper stated that, if he dies on the battlefield, his body will be transferred to his native village and buried there. If he is injured, he will be taken to a hospital for treatment. The pamphlet compared the different experiences of each side, as a way of discouraging peasants from joining the Viet Cong, assuring them that their lives would end in tragedy. The most famous maneuver of the fourth group was, 
without a doubt, Operation Wandering Soul. This was a psychological action campaign that sought to blow up the morale of the communist guerrillas and encourage them to desert their side and definitively abandon the fight. This operation sought to manipulate Vietnamese traditions related to the dead. According to their culture, respect had to be shown to the deceased through careful rituals, the most important being the burial of the bodies in their place of birth. If a person was buried anywhere else, or if his corpse was not placed underground, then his soul would wander aimlessly for the rest of eternity, subject to endless suffering. In the Vietnamese calendar, there is a date on which Vulan Day is celebrated, in which rites are performed to allow wandering spirits to find their way and get to safety. For this, offerings of food are left to attract the souls, and at night floating lights are placed on the rivers, to guide them towards nirvana, which is the state of absolute peace. Operation Wandering Soul sought a weakness in the guerrillas through these beliefs, to gain an advantage. For weeks, troops from the fourth group recorded audio of haunting sounds similar to those in horror movies and artificially altered voices. They claimed to be from Viet Cong members killed in action who had not been properly buried. Their souls, therefore, uttered howls and agonized cries, lamenting that they had to wander the world in pain. In between their wails, they warned the living not to make the same mistake and to give up the fight against the Americans for safety. The recordings were reproduced during the night, near villages suspected of helping the Viet Cong, or in the middle of the jungle, in the hope that the guerrillas would listen to them. The Americans believed that the Vietnamese were highly superstitious, and that the move would succeed in instilling fear in their hearts and promoting defection among their ranks. On the other hand, even if they realized that the sounds were fake and part of a psychological operation, the enemies couldn't help but wonder what would happen to their spirits if their bodies did not receive the necessary treatment to guide them to nirvana. The recordings were used throughout the war, and the Americans concluded that the fake ghosts were an important aid in terrorizing the Vietnamese. In the following years, the fourth group of psychological operations participated in such important campaigns as the defense of Saudi Arabia, the liberation of Kuwait and the ceasefire operation in Southeast Asia. Currently, the unit remains active, made up of 1,000 troops, and is commanded by Colonel Christopher D. Stangl. Its tasks are the same, although in a different context, and it's mainly dedicated to producing pamphlets, radio and television advertisements, and newspaper articles. We have reached the end of the video and we want to ask you, what is your opinion about military psychological operations? Leave us your answer in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history.